Hey what's up YouTubers, Mr. Shelby back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool space intro with Sony Vegas Pro 12. Uh, it's, it's actually really nice looking, it's going to be really professional, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, now, I do not have the intro pre-made, it's actually going to, I'm just going to wing it. Uh, hopefully everything works out, it should take about 20 minutes, uh, so let's get started. Uh, you will need three images and they are right here. And I don't know, maybe Sony Vegas might crash in the middle because I am using Windows 8 and it's not that good if you're wondering. Anyways, let's get started. Open up Sony Vegas. Bam. Uh, first things first, drag in your planet. Here, I'll show you guys the images. This is the star image that you're going to download. This is the camera blur image you're going to download. And this is the planet image you're going to download. Yep, so let's go. Open up Sony Vegas and put the planet track in the... No, here, hold on. Ugh. Okay, drag the planet down to your track, like this. Okay, uh, now right click on the planet and go to properties. And then go to maintain aspect ratio and disable resample. Uh, bam, look at that. Now go to pan cropped, you could, act, you could either click uh, the little square right here or right click and go to pan cropped. Bam, let's back up a little bit. I'm gonna turn it on its side so that the planet is on the left side. It can be on the right side, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and zoom out a little bit. Okay. Uh, Oh god, this is gonna be okay. Hold on. Ugh, I don't know my uh, my directions right now because it's all sideways. Uh, okay, there you go. That's perfect. Hold on. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There. This is perfect. This is exactly how I wanted it to be. This looks nice. Uh, so if it's like this, you've done a good job. Now what we need to do? We need to do is go to our explore tab. Stay on here and go to the. Actually, no. Never mind. I take that back. Leave it like this. Go to media generators and go to solid color bam and go to black and put it right underneath your image of this yeah now we're gonna take a snapshot because uh, if we don't if we don't take it it's gonna be weird trust me uh, I know now just take a snapshot by clicking this uh, so make sure everything's stable everything's the way you want it and take a snapshot bam and save to the desktop image one we're gonna name this planet side one uh, save and should get saved quickly okay, there you go it's saved now delete these two tracks you don't need them anymore bam this comes up bam look at that Oof, beautiful now go back to explore tab and go to the starry sky stock by budge oh no just drag it underneath there and now go back to the track for your planet and click add bam look at that uh, now click this uh, the pan cropped the pan cropped for the starry background you can right click on it too let's go to right click and go to pan cropped Bam. Uh, now, as you could probably tell, is that uh, this is kind of messed up. So I'm gonna go back, right click on the right click on the starry background, go to properties, and make sure you disable resample and maintain aspect ratio, like that. Bam. Now stretched out and really taking full screen. Now, if you have a keen eye, you can probably tell that th there are some stars here. But we're gonna fix that. We're not gonna put too much effort into it. We're just gonna drag the image to the right side. Uh, uh, there you go. That's perfect. Hold on. That's that's perfect. Uh, no one's really gonna notice these, a couple of these stars. It's just not noticeable. Now, if you're wondering, if you're really in space, it would not freaking look like this because there's way too much light coming off the planet. But forget about that. Okay. Now that it's like this, what we can do is we can right-click anywhere in the empty space and go to Insert Video Track. Okay. Now that we're here, we're gonna do a, we're gonna make the planet look alive. And to do this, we're gonna go to Media Generators. And we're gonna go to Noise Texture. Once we're there, we're going to go to Plasma and put it right on top of our planet. Uh, now, X out of this for a sec. I want to make this intro 10 seconds long, like this. So let's drag this out. So I'm just going to drag everything out to 10 seconds. Of course, you can make, of course you can make it 5 seconds. But for tutorial purposes, I'm going to make it 5. T uh, 10, yeah. Okay, uh, so right-click on, so right on the... What's in my columns? On the Plasma and go to Edit Generated Media. Now, once we're here, go to Color 1. Click on it and decrease opacity to zero. Bam. Uh, go to color two. Make the color two a little bit darker to your choosing, of course, and then drag this down like this. Okay. Now go to offset. If you're in an older Sony Vegas, you don't need to click offset. There is no offset. All it says is progress in degrees. You'll probably find it somewhere around here. Um, click the animate uh, button if you have a newer if you have a newer Sony Vegas, and drag this all the way to the end and drag the timeline all the way to the end of the time time. I don't know what's called. Drag it all the way to the end and first. Older users just drag it all the way to the end. You probably already have it here. And then on the progress of degrees bar, just put it all the way like this. And see? Keyframe. Uh, now it's just going to be animating everything. Now we only want this fog to be on the planet. So in order to fix this, we're going to go on onto the pan cropped of our plasma. 
I want to go to mask. Click this mask right here. And we're, yeah, let's use the, oh, no, actually not. Let's, we're going to wing it. We're going to use our animate anchor creation tool. So let's go like this. Just make, just general, just think about it. Yeah, just think about covering the plant. There you go. So I covered it too much, as you can see right over here. This is where the separation. Now, if your fog is too out into the space, you're going to want to go with uh, feather in. If your fog is too small, you're going to want to go with fe feather out. So click this. See, look, perfect. Sorry for your clicking, but it comes with territory. Okay, look at this. It looks nice. This looks really nice. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to make our little logo come in. Now, uh, insert another video track by clicking anywhere in the empty space. Okay, insert text. Now you can really in, uh, insert whatever you want. It's really up to you. Uh, Mr. Jubble TV, bam, my gaming channel. Yeah, shameless self-promotion. Anyways, uh, let's change our font to something else, shall we? Uh, this looks fine. Okay, I'll make it smaller. Now what we want it to happen is that we want it to pop out of here, like through the planet. I don't know. It's gonna look cool. Um, I you can make you can put a lot more time into your logo, but I'm just not gonna put that much time. Um, like bam. Okay, so it just pops up real easy, simple. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Now, drag this out to cover the whole span of the intro. Uh, we're, we're gonna need a transition for this to come in, so we're gonna go to hmm, transitions, and we're gonna go to well, you can actually choose however it comes in, but I'm gonna choose uh, a gradient wipe. So I want it to come in from the left. Actually, no, I'm gonna go with linear wipe. I want it to come in from the left, uh, like this. So put this right in front of it. X out of this, drag it out long. Oops, oopsie. Okay, so if we watch keyframe by keyframe, we can see that the planet is active and then this pops up. Uh, now, you can of course put in more effort into your transition, but for tutorial purposes, tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna do it like this. Alrighty then. Now that we have all this set up, I'm gonna save my project because I have a feeling Sony Vegas is gonna freaking ditch on me. Uh, okay, everything's good. Now what we have to do is we have to render this, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this out. Our, well, actually, you don't need to do this. I'm just, you know, I'm gonna, freak, I'm gonna do it. Never mind. Dra just, you, all we have to do is render this. So hopefully you guys know how to render. Go to file render as. I don't know how long it's, this is gonna take. It shouldn't take too long. Um, render. I'm just gonna do desktop part one MP4. Okay, yeah. Render. I might have to cut the video, I don't know. Actually, no, I don't have to cut the video. Oh, no, yeah, I don't have to cut the video. Awesome. Yep, just gonna let it freaking render. I'm really actually kind of disappointed. I want to do buy the Xbox One. Uh, but it sold out everywhere. I didn't want to pre-order it because I didn't know if it was going to be good or not. But I think I like it, so I'm going to get it. But I can't on release day because it sold out. It's a stupid. Never mind. Anyway, bored. I don't know where I'm going to get it from, though. Maybe Amazon, but I don't know when they're going to restock. Maybe GameStop might have it. I don't know. It was a really hard decision to choose Xbox, so... Okay, there you go. Uh, delete all the tracks you just made. Actually, save before you delete, just in case. Now I'll delete all the tracks. Okay. Now, you should have your... If you refresh right here... Uh, here it is. Oh, God, this is where it usually crashes. It crashed. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? I'm back, and I don't know why it crashes still, but I had to render it all over again into .wmv, because apparently MP4, MP4 took way long to render. It took like 20 seconds to render. Well, WMV only took 10. Anyways, uh, so once you've dragged in your render in here, what we need to do is we need to add a really slow zoom. So to do that, we're going to have to go to Pancraft. We're going to zoom out a little bit. Bam. Okay. Drag the timeline all the way to the end. Whoa, what's going on? That was laggy. Too laggy. Okay, make sure these two are selected. I'm going to zoom in slightly, okay, guys? We're going to zoom in this much. That's all we're zooming in. Nothing more, nothing less. Look at this. You have to look at it with your eyes. Okay, now, once that's done, we're going to have to run it all over again. So, we'll go to File, Render As, Save Desktop, which is Part 2, and, yeah, WMV, uh, Render. So, we're going to let this render. It's a really slow zoom. It should look nice, and it's doing its thing. 
10 seconds. Oh, 13 seconds. Oh, not accurate at all. Actually, it might be accurate. No, no, it's not. It's not accurate. Oh, it's a failure. Come on, Microsoft. You gotta optimize your stuff. This is stupid. Okay. Now, this is like this. Uh, bring in your new render. Refresh this so you can actually see it. Where did it go? Part 2. There it is. So, this is gonna be a little zoom render. See? Oh, God. Oh, no, I didn't crash. I thought it crashed, huh? Okay. So, now that it's like this, it's, it's in the slow, slow zoom phase. We got stuff to do. I'm gonna go to best full because apparently it's being a little bit laggy. I should probably offload the processing power to my GPU, but whatever. I'll go to right click anywhere here and go to insert video track. Bam. Okay. Now we're gonna have to bring in our beautiful, our freaking beautiful. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Beautiful dust right here. Dust2.jpg. Drag that right on top. Bam. Scratch it out. Right click. Go to properties. Go to maintain aspect ratio. Uncheck that and disable resample. Bam, it's all big. And now <laughs> now now click on the compositing mode and click add for the dust. Bam, now it looks like we are actually in a probe. It looks it looks cool, trust me. Okay. So now that we're like this, we have to make it look freaking like it's proby. Okay, guys. So in order to do this, we're going to go click on the pan cropped for our for our um, little video that we rendered. Bam, like this. And now we have to be the position of the probe. So the probe is probably going to start off zoomed like this. And maybe not looking directly at it. Maybe the probe is just looking over here to this general general area. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start off like this. Uh, now these keyframes are very important. It, it It's the way the probe behaves. Now in space, everything is weightless. So the probe is going to have a smooth uh, little transition that it's going to carry on like this. So we're going to do this. We're going to go forward a little bit. We're gonna go up like this. We're gonna zoom out a little bit. We're gonna go forward like that. We're gonna zoom out a little bit. Oh, undo that. Sorry. Control Z to undo. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put it up like this. And then we're gonna zoom out a little bit. Pretend the probe is focusing. Now, of course, you're only gonna have five seconds, which is why this is rendering so quickly. Uh, but for me, I'm gonna make it go a little bit longer. So put it like this because the probe is still moving this way. Zoom out a little bit more. And bam, it's going to go back down. Because actually, that's not how a probe behaves. Control Z, I messed up. I apologize. What's going on? Undo. Listen to me. Okay. So, probe's like this. Uh, you have to, this is actually a little bit complicated because you have to make the camera behave the way it would actually behave. Now, I know we're not going with full realism, but I want to go for a little bit realism. Uh, and the camera motion is really important to do this. So, we're going to keep on moving in this angle. Move forward a little bit. We're going to zoom in back, we're going to zoom back in on the text. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a probe. So freaking awesome. Go zoom in this way. Bam. Okay, go forward a little bit. We're going to zoom out now because the camera can zoom in and out. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to freaking make it go this way a little bit. So you have to make the camera behave like it would actually behave in space. Now, with, with all this done, hold down control and click every single keyframe you just made. Okay, there you go. Now, once everything is selected, you let go of control and right click on one of them and go to smooth. This is going to give everything a little smooth transition. So, if we watch this now, I'm going to go keyframe by keyframe because it's very important. We see that it goes into the zoom and then it zooms out, and we could see this. And we focus in on it a little bit like that. And, and then we zoom out a little bit, like, oh, look at that. We're in space. This is so cool. You can add more camera shake, but for me, I'm going to add a little bit of camera shake. So yeah, that's how it looks for me. Uh, now, what we want to do is going to look very cool. We're going to zoom in a little bit. And before the text starts, actually, no, half, the, okay, hold on. Through this range, we're going to we're gonna make the camera blur. So have your video selected. Have your video selected and click S whenever you want the, the camera to really focus in. So I'm going to click S right here because this is the time I want the camera to focus in. Actually, no, Control Z. I want the camera to focus in when it's completed, when this transition is completed, which is not, uh, let's see when, it, oh, hold on. 
Okay, this is one that transition completed. So I'm gonna click S. I'm gonna go to video effects. I'm gonna go to defocus. Okay, so click on this. Uh, circular. Now you can choose the type of zoom you want. I'm gonna go with this because this is how most camera lenses look. Okay, so this looks really cool, right? Uh, go to radius. I'm gonna lower the radius a little bit. This is perfect. Uh, now go to the animate button. If you're on an older Sony Vegas, um, this will already be here. But drag the timeline all the way to the end. And on the radius, the radius you're going to slowly decrease. Well, actually, I take that back. We're going to have our focus as being erratic. Uh, so let's go to the second mark. We're going to zoom out a little bit more. Go forward a little bit. We're going to zoom really low. Go forward a little bit more. We're going to zoom a lot. Because just imagine the camera is fluctuating. We're going to zoom less. You know, just a little bit of randomness. We're going to zoom a lot more. Okay, now we're, now it's gonna go on a decreasing slope. A little pop here, and then, bam, perfectness. Now, if we, I'm gonna save this right now because I have a feeling it's gonna crash. Save. Okay, so now if we watch this, uh, watch this. Oh, look at this! It's a camera focusing. See, it looks like a freaking probe. Am I right? It looks very cool. Okay. Well, that's pretty much off this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I think it looks really nice. Um, and, you know, if you do too, leave a comment or something. Leave a like, though. That's really helpful. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I think I did this in less than 20 minutes. I'm not freaking sure, but I think I did. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.